Hi everybody. Hi, how are you? Just gonna um, make sure that all my tech is working. Good, yep, that all seems to be okay. Um, how are you today everyone? It's Sarah here from Sarah McCauley Studio, live on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page. It's Monday evening, I'm in Sydney, Australia. Um, it's winter here, it's quite dark outside. It's been a beautiful sunny day here. Um, so I can't complain on that front. So while a few of you are just jumping on, I'm just going to say hi and um, explain what I'll be doing today. Hi Jesse, how are you love? Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you've had a good day. Um, for those of you who don't already know me, I'm Sarah. Uh, my business is Sarah McCauley Studio in Sydney. You're on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page and I'm demonstrating a beautiful transfer tonight, um, which is the Australian Wildflowers Transfer. It's not that easy, I know, to see on camera what comes in the tube, but you actually get a number of different designs in the tube. You get nine different designs, um, including some fabulous black cockatoos, Banksia flowers, Australian native florals, um, nine different things. So you can use them in a number of projects. There's there's a lot in this pack, a lot of good value. And I'll show you some of them because I've taken them out, I've laid them flat. When I get a transfer pack like this, I like to just check it all, get it all out, unroll it, leave it to just lie flat for a bit. And I tape each of the designs to its backing with a little bit of painter's tape so that I've got them handy but I know that they're not going to come off their backing before I'm ready to use them. Thanks Jesse, that's so sweet of you. For those of you jumping on I'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, say hi, drop me your favourite emoji, let me know where you're viewing from because that's always an exciting part of the evening for me is just seeing where everyone is watching from. So the two smallest designs, these are beautiful Banksias, um, or um, I think they're often called bottle brush as well. Beautiful. Hi Jan, I think you're jumping on, lovely to see you. This one is so cute, it's got two little kookaburras um, on the side here, having a, having a little chat on this native plant. We have two black cockatoos and a number of very beautiful bright florals and this is the one I'm going to be using tonight and I'll show you why in just a moment. Thanks for jumping on guys, I'm really happy that um, you're finding the time to watch. This is going to be a fun project. I know you're um, busy so it's nice if you take time out of your day, grab a, a cuppa or um, whatever you feel like, join me. Hi Cheryl. Thanks for joining. This is the next one in the pack. This is a larger one. This is actually going to be a little bit large for my project, so I'm going to save this one for another day. But again, beautiful. And the detail in these transfers is just spectacular. Another of the black cockatoos. Pretty cool. He'd look, I think he'd look fabulous on a piece of furniture. And this one is a super long one. So I'm going to save this for when I've got a long piece of furniture, maybe um, chest of drawers, something like that, because that's just so, so pretty. Again, Banks's um, little bits, I think, of Grevillea, wattle, butterflies. Just the prettiest, prettiest piece. I think that would look beautiful in a bedroom, perhaps even um, a child's bedroom would just look fabulous. Hey Yvonne, how are you, love? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've all had a good day. So I'm going to put most of these to one side just for a moment. There's also one other cockatoo in the pack which I've already used, so you haven't seen him, but he is a big, beautiful black cockatoo. So you get nine designs in one pack. Hey Sue, how are you going? Thank you for joining. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sarah. My business is Sarah McCauley Studio in Sydney. Um, you're live on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page and I'm showing you 
wild Australian wildflowers number one because we actually have three different transfers we've got one two and three number one is mostly banksias beautiful red green and yellow and some pink um, there's also a proteas pack and the number three pack is the gum nuts and more grevilleas so you've got a huge choice um, of just beautiful native plants so anyway to show you what i'm actually going to be doing tonight i've got this um beautiful old um watering can which i'm i've really been excited um to show you this i'm just going to tilt my camera down a bit so you can see it um i just love these i know these are really popular now these these um People can sell these for quite a lot of money, but I have a beautiful friend who found this and sold this to me fairly cheaply. Hey Pippa, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. Um, and what I've done, because I love this old patina so much on the can, I, what I often do is I paint something with a chalk paint and then I'll put my transfers over the top. But because this was just so lovely and time worn and gorgeous I didn't want to do that so what I've done instead is I've just put a clear varnish over the top that way I know my transfers will stick to it really beautifully and I'm not going to have any issue with them not wanting to stick or the surface being dirty or porous or anything like that so I've used um, a satin a very light satiny varnish before I get started on using my transfer and once I have done my transfer, I'm going to use the same product over the top to seal, protect it, um, to make it suitable for either indoor or outdoor use. Um, and the varnish that I use is an exterior grade varnish, so I know it's going to hold up um, in the backyard. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to get started. Um, Pippa Sue, a couple of others who've just jumped on, I'm using, I'm going to be using this which is um, so pretty. If you can see, it's got two black uh, cockatoos, some banksias. Um, there's a couple of butterflies in there. It's just really, really cute and pretty. So I'm just going to, excuse me, guys. I know it's, um, I want you to be able to see as much as possible of what I'm doing because that is the important bit. So I am going to use, what I want to do is mostly use this bird and this pink because I want to see what the pink looks like against this galvanized metal because um, I think it will stand out really nicely. And what I'm going to do is try and be as clever as possible about saving half the design for the back of my watering can too. Hey Eileen. Hey Evelyn, how are you? If you've just jumped on, I'd love to know where you're watching from. Do let me know because this time of night we do get a really wonderful audience. We get the Aussies, we get um, some of the Brits and we occasionally get um, some Americans who are up at um, early in the morning. So let me know where you are because it's just um, it's a treat for me to be able to interact with you as a global audience. So here goes, I've cut up my transfer. I'm going to put this bit on one side. This is the piece I'm going to be using. And I know some of you are familiar with transfers already. But if you're not, the aim is to um, transfer the image onto your piece of furniture, your craft, whatever you're doing by pushing it off this acetate. So the front part is um, an acetate sheet with the image on it and we're going to push the image off the acetate, transfer it onto our, um, you know, our furniture or whatever we're using it on. So you peel off the backing paper which is just um, a piece of protective paper. We don't need that. That is the bit we don't need. So you're left with this. You're left with your um, cockatoo on your acetate. 
and then the what we need to do is place him on the design now I can't actually see my placement so I might need your help with this I don't want his head to um, get cut off so I'm going to pop him I'm actually going to cut off a bit down here just quickly and I'm going to pop him on Ooh, mm. it's tricky because the handle's kind of in the way I think I'm going to pop him on here about there and I'm going to use my painters tape to hold him in place Hi, Arantia. Arantia, that's a beautiful name. Do I pronounce it Arantia? Is that correct? I love that name. Now this is where you need about three hands to do this because I want to just use a bit of tape to hold him in place because you do need to take your time and slowly use your tools to adhere the transfer to the surface and you don't want to rush this part partly because it's super fun and you just get a good result if you just go slow make sure you've got everything in place you don't miss any bits for those of you who didn't see the beginning I'm working with an old um, galvanized metal watering can and I have um, sealed it I haven't painted it I've just sealed it with a clear varnish so that I know my transfer will stick and adhere nicely these transfers are beautiful at sticking but they do like a sealed shiny surface hi Nicole thank you for joining me hun it's lovely to see you all on tonight tell me how your day has been or maybe it's your morning, depending on where you are. So for me, I'm in Sydney, so it is just after 7 p.m. It's the end, kind of coming out of winter here, with sort of towards the tail end of winter. It's dark, it's not that cold. I'm hoping that my hubby will put the dinner on while I'm doing this. You never know, you never know your luck, do you? I've dropped some hints. We'll see. Anyway, so I've, I've stuck it on with my tape and now comes the part where I'm going to um, use my transfer tool, um, which is this. Some of you are familiar with this already. So when you buy your um, transfer off the Aussie Decor Transfers website, you have the choice to um, have one of these at checkout. This doesn't cost you any extra but you get to choose because if you've already got a million transfers at home, you've already probably got a million yellow tools and we don't want to um, pollute the environment with too, too many, even though they're recyclable. So you get to choose if you want one at checkout or not, but these are free. And the um, wide end, this end, Oh, Yvonne, you're so kind. Thank you, honey. Yvonne says it looks good already. I haven't done anything yet, Yvonne. Um, but that's really kind. So this wide part is really good for like just pushing the transfer. And then this end um, is actually where you really get some leverage. So I tend to work from one end of the transfer to the other, or you can do top to bottom. But that way, if you just work slowly across it, you know that you have it all adhered. Because... Um, you want to just make sure you get all the little bits and with these beautiful um, floral designs some of the patterns are just so intricate you want to make sure you've got it, you've got it all on so i'm going to start at this end and i'm just going to rub and what i love about these transfers is you can quite easily see one when it starts coming off the backing so we're transferring it from the backing onto the surface and it actually goes a little bit opaque and cloudy as it starts to leave the backing and that's always a good sign that it's going where you want it to go it's really brilliant So 
Some of you I know have used transfers already. Yvonne, I know you've had some fun experimenting with these. And we have a beautiful selection on the website. So if you're, um, there's some links above this video that might be useful to you. There's one to the Aussie Decor Transfers website where you can see all the products and buy them. There's a link to my Facebook page. Um, it'd be really fun if you have a look, if you want to follow. I'm in Sydney. Um, I love doing creative work and I run workshops. I do crafts. I um, do a few things in the community. I have an upcycling club where people come and bring their old junk and make it look pretty. We have a lot of fun with it. This is going on really well and I think it's because, partly because it's very um, solid surface and it's really well sealed and it's very shiny and I tend to find the more well sealed and shiny your surface these could just go on like a dream. The times you need to be careful are if perhaps you've used a chalk paint or something like that and those paints are porous and can be a little bit dusty till you sealed them so you need to just make sure you've done your painting varnished your piece with a water-based varnish of some sort it doesn't matter which brand you use but make sure you've varnished it nicely don't use a wax because that's too oily to put transfers on top on top of and then once your varnish is dry you're good to go So I'm just going to show you that I've started from this end and I can already see that it's adhered really well. So once you start to peel you can see that it's stuck on. Can you see that little bit that's already stuck on? And these, it's, um, it's a process that's quite forgiving because if you're not sure if it's stuck on, you can just lift up like I just did, just lift up your plastic a little bit. And if there's a bit you can see hasn't stuck, just pop it back down and carry on. And you can keep doing that until you're absolutely sure it's done. So you're not going to miss any bits. I really like this um, cockatoo. He's just gorgeous. I can't wait to see what he looks like on the watering can. He's very cute. Okay, so the leaves are coming off nicely. So I can see from my op opacity that pretty much all of that is done. So I'm now going to work my way up to the bird as we go. There we go. So cute. Now, um, I don't know if some of you have noticed, but um, there's a real fun challenge coming up this week. The brand ambassadors and content creators for Aussie Decor are doing a challenge this week, um, stretching over Thursday in Australia and Friday, um, other parts of the world. So it's all on the 12th of August, but because of the time zones, we start off in Australia on Thursday off with our mannequin challenge so that the whole of the Australian team will be live together and we all have mannequins to decorate. It's going to be such a hoot. And then we're followed by, um, I think it's the Brits who are next. And two, I think two teams in America. And you get your chance to vote. So if you watch them, you get your chance to vote for what you think should be the winning team and you get a chance to win a prize. So. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun and I know with the time zones it's, it's kind of impossible to watch all of the time zones live but um, they will. you can watch them on replay later. Jessie says can't wait to see what everyone does. Oh me too Jessie. I haven't had many sneak peeks at all of what people are doing. I've seen a little bit of Siobhan's in the background of her video but I really don't know what people are doing. Um, I'm going to be with Crystal in Swan Hill, Victoria and Deb 
um, who is the owner of Aussie Decor and she is um, based on the Sunshine Coast. So that's just going to be heaps of fun um, to be part of a team together, to do our challenge together, to be all, you know, we're all doing something a little bit different. Just want to stick this down a little bit better. But um, this guy's nearly done. This is actually, if you can see that opacity there, that's actually a good sign because that bit means that he's adhered to my surface and I can see from the bits that are fully coloured around that these are the bits I still need to work on. And if any of you buy these transfers and need help, please, please ask because um, we want to help, we want to help you all learn. And there's always some from, someone from the Aussie Decor team who can help you. Just reach out um, to the Aussie Decor Facebook page or if, you've, if you follow someone like me or Crystal or any of the people on the team, reach out and ask. Because we, we, yeah, we, we, want, we want everyone to use the products and have fun with them and, and have great results. Okay. Well, this is happening um, quite quickly which is great because um, I really want to be able to get this done if I do have any time I've also got this cute little flower pot this has got a little bit of rustic chalk paint and varnish on it and I might have time to uh, do a bit on that as well which would be quite fun okay I'm going to keep going Now his head is over this ridge in the can, but I'm not going to be too worried because I think, I think if it sort of just goes into the ridges, that's fine. If there's a couple of tiny cracks, I'm not going to be too precious about that either. Okay. Um, I think he's pretty much on but I'm going to peel it off very gradually because that way if I have missed any bits and I haven't pressed hard enough with my tool I can go back and do it. And a tiny bit of his beak I've missed. Here we go. Oh, and a tiny bit there on his crest. I think He's mostly there, which is great. And when you peel, just do it gently, gently. A little bit at a time. I'm not sure whether I've got all the bits in that far corner, so I'm just gonna check that carefully. These transfers look just so fun on furniture. We've got so many designs. You can do kids' furniture, you can do your adult stuff, you can do your bedside tables. Hey, Louisa. Thank you for watching me. And I'm, um, I'm a bit of a sucker for craft projects and upcycles, so this is this kind of thing I love doing. And with your piece of acetate, that you've transferred the image off of it onto your piece. Use the shiny side, so there's a kind of more of a matte side and there's a shiny side. And if you, you once your transfer is on, you use your shiny side to burnish, which is just helps the transfer go on. And you just make sure it's absolutely smooth and there's no little edges sticking up at all little piece of tape still left on it there you go he's cute isn't he and I love the way the pink just pops against the metal um, I think that looks really pretty the yellow looks great um, and I could have painted this but I think there's just something nice and rustic about keeping that um, that pattern there 
So I might um, put him to one side. What I would like to do is, um, I'm just gonna lift up my camera a moment so I can talk to you. Hi, that's better. Um, I'm gonna continue with him because I think I might do something around the backside. Look, I've just got a little butterfly there already. Um, and it might even be fun to do the handle, a bit of a spout, something I'm not quite sure yet, but um, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. I think that's quite fun. But I also wanted to show you um, how it works on a little pot as well, because this is a chalk painted surface. It is sealed. Oh, sorry, I think I flipped you over there by accident. My apologies. Hello, Anna, how are you? Thank you for watching. I'm going to do, um, I think, just a little floral on this one, just for a bit of fun. And I've got one, here's a little off cut from the same packet, the same Australian wildflowers packet. This is just a tiny off cut, which I thought would be great for a small project. So I'm going to work with that. I know a few people are uh, jumping on halfway through, which is lovely. Thank you for joining me. Um, I appreciate it. I'm using this fabulous wildflowers transfer from the Aussie Decor range. I'm really sorry about this camera work. I'm not doing so well tonight. I do apologize. So this is another one of the wildflowers. Isn't that pretty? So bright. And we see a lot of these flowers um, coming out in springtime. So we're just coming out of winter here into the spring. And you see a lot of these. These actually bloom down our street and they're gorgeous. And this wildflowers pack is Australian wildflowers one banks is. Yvonne says the pot would make a great Christmas gift. Hey, that's a good idea, Yvonne. I think you're right. I think you're right, although I'd quite like to keep it. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do another one. So I'm just going to position this wildflower just across the front of my little flower pot. And it's going to go over the ridge of my pot, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to start at the bottom and deal with that when I get to it. I'm just borrowing a little bit of the blue tape I was using earlier. Um, and what you know it's just great because with these transfers you get so much in a pack but you can also use every single little scrap you really can you don't waste anything and when I run workshops if I've got little scraps left you know we can do all sorts of upcycles um, you, you only need a tiny bit of transfer like this and you can transform a pot or a little stool something for a child's bedroom um, a gift, like Yvonne suggested, beautiful Christmas gifts. Um, especially if you wanted to put a plant in it or a, a candle, or if you're someone who bakes, fill it with mince pies, that would be, that'd be nice. So this pot um, is chalk painted and sealed with a clear varnish again, so it's got a very shiny surface makes it very easy for the transfer to stick on. Like these transfers just love the shine, shiny surfaces. And it makes it much easier for you to stick them on. So again, that one's going on really quickly and easily. Now this is, um, this is the first time I've used this wildflowers pack and there's actually two more and I'm going to be doing the gum nuts and grevilleas um, in a month or so. So I'll have to find some more cool projects I can show you with those. Now I've actually done a bit of a boo-boo with this one. I've got a little crack in it. I don't know if you can see. But that's okay because I'm going to go back. I can touch that up later. I can either layer it with another little bit of pink transfer I can touch it up with a bit of paint. I could also distress it by sanding my piece a little bit so it looks a bit time worn. 
Um, and that can just happen if you're, I mean, I'm in a bit of a hurry doing this and I'm also trying to smooth it over a curved surface. So they're very, it's good, it's good to try different, um, different approaches and layering. If you ever want to layer, I will show you when I take this off where my little crack is. And if you do want to layer, because it's such a big pack of transfers, you've got the capacity to just take another pink flower and just stick it over the top. And it doesn't notice at all. You can layer these transfers to your heart's content. Here we go. I'm going to push it under the rim of my pot like this and then I'm going to take it over the edge of the pot so I can see everything from the bottom upwards has stuck on so I'm just going to start lifting from the bottom here oh I've missed a tiny bit in the middle Missed a tiny bit there. So you can keep going back, you can keep lifting it up, you can keep going back. You're not going to have a horrible mess by taking it off and then realizing you've missed a whole heap because you can just keep going with it. And you can. Okay, so I'm just going to lift, so this bit's done, and now I'm just going to put my finger on this bit while I finish off this lovely bit at the top with the pink flower. Thanks so much guys, I can see some more of you jumping on. I've been working with the Australian Wildflowers Transfer from Aussie Deco Transfers and it's so pretty and eye-catching. I just love it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So you can see just here is where I've got a slight crack. It hardly notices at all. There's a little crack here as well. Um, so what you can do if that does happen, and the reason that's happened is because I'm on a curved surface and I'm going over a rim which is not a big deal. I have some tiny pieces of pink left on my backing paper. So if I am really fussed about it, I'll go back and I can put that little pink piece of pink back on. Um, but this is a fairly sort of rustic little project anyway, so I'm not hugely worried. And there you go, like that is such a quick and easy project to do. Makes a really cute little gift for somebody. Um, and I, as I explained earlier, this pack um, comes with nine different um, transfers in it. Hi. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's very nice of you to say. So the color of the transfer is amazing. So here is just the little um, side project. And what I was working on earlier is the watering can and I've done the black cockatoo on the watering can. Isn't he cool? I just love him. And I think, you know, you could um, pop a bunch of flowers in there. You could pop, you could actually put earth in there, put a plant in it. All sorts of uses you could have with that gorgeous watering can. Um, and so many other pieces in the pack. I mean, the this is only um, the other side of the piece that I used on the watering can and there are eight eight other sheets in the pack so um, so much variety so much you can do with it I've really enjoyed showing it to you um, if you're if you want to jump on the website have a look at all the transfers there's um, not only Australian designs there's just beautiful um, brightly colored vibrant cool designs 
And if you're ordering through the website and you're not in Australia, don't worry, you don't have to wait for it to come from Australia because we have distributors all over the world. So go um, jump on the website, the link is above this video and you will see the beautiful designs. And if you do choose to um, jump on an order, well, you might already have a stockist in your region that you know of already. Um, but if you do order it, you won't have to wait for it being shipped from Australia. It's, um, it will come to you from whoever your nearest distributor is. So have a little look. Um, have a think about if you're wanting to watch the mannequin challenge, um, that would be a lot of fun because it's, it's going to be fast and furious and you get to vote for your favourite team. So we're starting on Thursday with that here in Australia. Jan, so lovely of you to watch. Really appreciate all of you who've jumped on tonight. It's been a lot of fun for me. And if you have any questions at all, post them um, under this video. I'll be checking back on later and I can answer any questions that you might have. I'll see you soon. Keep well, everyone. Bye.